guys welcome back to my channel so i want to take the time to say that i am back i plan on filming a lot more videos in 2020 i love creating youtube videos i love the fact that i can sit for sometimes hours and edit a video into something that i really enjoy and that i love looking back on it like, i don't know if anyone any content creators can relate that's like the best feeling ever it's something that you can look back on and cherish so um, that's like the best part of filming and also getting to interact with you guys and knowing that there's people behind screens behind phones behind computers it makes it even 10 times better, which I love. I feel so weird because I haven't talked to a camera in like forever December is also the time when I have like um, what is it called? Revelation like my intuition is really strong and I think it's just because it's like the new year Towards the end of this video, I want to go over some of my 2020 goals and what I really want to accomplish in 2022. And um, so by the time this video will be up, I don't know if it would be up um, next year or the end of December. I really want to try to get this video up soon. So the last video that I looked back on was from last December and I'm like, holy moly, it's already been a year of things I've done. And, um, before I was even filming this video, I was getting emotional just thinking about everything that I accomplished in 2021. Just to name off a few, I graduated college at 22 years old with my bachelor's degree. I freaking, it still hasn't really like hit me that I graduated. I'm literally like three months post-grad and I'm just like in awe. I take that as a really big accomplishment for me and I just, I still can't believe that it even happened. Sorry for my hair, guys. It's so frizzy right now. But um, so I also graduated a Sigma Delta Tau alum. And I will forever be grateful that I joined a sorority in college and that I got to graduate with them and walk with them. I can go into detail about my sorority experience and how it was in college and what I learned and all that if you guys want. I'm trying to think of more things that happened in 2021, which is odd for me. I know like a lot of ins and outs, like I travel, I went to Georgia, Georgia, North Carolina this year. And also a big one is I moved in with my boyfriend and we got our own place together and we officially have been living together for like six months and we are going to be moving to a different city in um, a few months so I'm super excited it's gonna be a whole new city and um, I really want to take you guys along that journey getting to look at apartments together and I also have another big surprise which I will announce very soon in a couple months um, but that's another thing that's coming in 2022 which I'm super excited about my boyfriend also got into law school this year and it's just been a lot of blessings and good things that have happened and I'm super excited to see what the future holds for me. I really want to take you guys along this journey because I've been so inconsistent. So I'm going to give you guys a little background. I started YouTube when I was like 12 years old. I remember begging, begging my mom to let me have a camera and to post a video and to send it to YouTube and post it on my channel. I begged her. I literally begged this lady for months. And one day she finally said yes. And I remember I was so excited. I still have the my first video on my channel. It's just privated, but I can unprivate it whenever I want to. But I'm just too embarrassed. But maybe later on I will. I just remember that being something that I always wanted to do was being like a YouTuber. Like I just wanted to be a YouTuber. Like before the money before the brand deals before any of that i just wanted to be a youtuber okay so i quickly wrote down some goals that i have for 2022 that i could just think off the top of my head and also i kind of want to create a vision board i think they're so cute but i have like nowhere to put them unless i put it in my room but terrell would have to see them as well so i don't know if he wants to see them too start with the first thing on my list which is follow what god calls me to do it's amazing not thinking that i can control my path in life and what happens in different scenarios and why things happen the way they do and just putting my trust and putting my faith in God that he has a plan for me and but ultimately he's going to be guiding me into the direction that I need to go and so I really like that one um the next one is to be intentional at times I am this people pleaser I love to people please 
just intentional with my emotions, the way that I act, the things that I say. Just want to be really clear. I want to be unsure of how I'm feeling when I know in my heart on how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be able to say no. I want to be able to say yes and not be afraid. And that's what I mean by being intentional. So the next one. Okay, so it's getting darker outside. It gets dark at like 5 o'clock now. The next one is to stop caring what other people think. This is a huge one for me. It kind of goes along with people pleasing. And to just stop worrying about the judgment of other people and what they're going to say about me. And even with starting YouTube and TikTok right now, I know there's going to be people that do not like me. It doesn't matter who you are. You can be the most perfect person in the world. There's always going to be someone that doesn't like you. And you just have to know who you are within yourself and understand that those opinions do not matter and sometimes it's a reflection of the person that is talking poorly about you sometimes it can come from a place of hurt from some people when they're judging you you know what i'm saying i'm also a really heavy overthinker so i just overthink everything there's that um the next one is more me time practicing more self-care going on long walks hot girl walks seriously um, I'm gonna miss those when I move though because I have the best views. Um, I'm like five minutes away from Bayshore. If you're in the Tampa area, then you know. So the next one is spending more time with my family. But in college, my last two years here in Tampa, I was home like every other weekend it felt like, but I just didn't spend as much time as I wanted to. I love being home and since I am in a different city, like I live two hours away in my hometown, it's hard sometimes, you know, to not be home with my family all the time. But It just makes me sad that I'm growing up so fast. As I get older, I realize that my family gets older as well. And I think I'll leave it at that just because it just makes me so emotional. How time just goes by so quickly. But the next one is to live out my YouTube dream since I was 12 years old. I know I already touched on that in the beginning of this video, but... That's all I really want is to live out my 12-year-old dream and make my 12-year-old self so happy or my 16-year-old self when I was on YouTube. I want her to be like, look, mama. Okay, but that was the end of my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry it was so long and rambly, but um, I really wanted to get all my thoughts out and it wasn't really um, organized, but that's just me. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys in my next video.